Hello. Test. Uh, oh, really? Oh, no. Hello. 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 Yeah. There you go. Ooh. Welcome to uh, the Ghetto Overwatch cosplay ch uh, panel. <laughs> We, we were walking to here, and some nice young lady says, are you guys, like, kind of doing Overwatch? And, and I'm like, yeah! <laughs> I'm Lucio, this is Reaper. And I am Reaper, hello, I will shoot you with the guns. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I am. All right. All right. Momocon. Momocon. Yes. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. you. Momocon's always Still awesome. can't find one goddamn peach. Anyway, I, that's okay, I'll, I'll forgive you, so. So, how does this usually go down, Matt? Uh, how this goes down is we did that part already, and then uh, we talk about our current LPs and stuff like that, and you guys give the appropriate pop when you see the images on the screen. <laughs> that's usually how it goes. All right. So All right, so what's our first thing? Something kind of like this? There's gonna be a slight delay. A slight delay. Each time. So that it could load up. Is that yeah. Normal? That's pretty good. The Punisher. The the LP you were born to play. I, I was born to play when when my mom gave birth to me. She's like, this motherfucker's gonna play the Punisher. <laughs> On the YouTube, and and one of the best things to come out of the Punisher, uh, Pun Pun Kill Chan, uh, you know, it, it's it's really it was whoa, whoa what's happening? What do you would you just All that? oh <laughs> the Punisher oh look at that oh right. there, the final piece of fa fa fan art yeah the final piece of fan art is humanity. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was that was, that was that that went better than expected. I thought there's gonna be wires tripping over. Oh, that's really great. Um, yeah, the the aside from Pun Pun Kill Chan, like um, it, it was it was really interesting being able to kind of finagle a game that would otherwise be played a million times in a certain way, like on the Xbox and PS2. But Wooly was able to get a lot of stuff going on the uh, on the uh, PC version. So so what you couldn't see in the background, like oh, yeah. like the initial setup, the legwork that Matt did to figure out, okay, to ha this game has never been ported to anything, right? There's just that PC version that was from way back when that doesn't run. Yeah. So getting that to run with a widescreen hack, getting the violent hack back in so you could Violence. see all those goofy kills. Yeah, yeah. Um, was one thing, and then the other was like it's meant to run on old keyboard controls, but it's not yeah. even like WASD. It's like arrows and then a bunch of weird diagonals and just crazy shit. Like so, like du like W was actually kill, S was kill, D was kill, <laughs> and we're trying trying. Yeah. And you you I I gave you during a stream. I was like you here's an Xbox Elite controller. You can have this, but you got to fix all the stupid Major, control issues yeah. for the punishment sure when we record that LP, so, so that was fun. <laughs> an hour with Joy to Key later, yeah. right? We got it going. And like, and it's not just assigning buttons to keys, it was like making sure the stick could properly emulate the cursor, and but not too fast so that you can shake them in through the window or through the glass, but not it, kill it, right away. I, I still, there's still some <sighs> control niggles, but it was basically the best that it could have been. And like, I'm really glad we were able to do it because, you know, when you think about like, and you're just, you put it out there and you're just like, I hope people like it, and I'm really glad that people like like the Punisher because it was a good pick. Where it's not too long of a game and no. it's entertaining enough, right? Right, Willie? Yeah. Please say it was okay. No, no, it was. Okay, it was good. fun for the whole family. Family, <laughs> family, 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 family. That was great. That was great. So Punisher, lots of fun. Well, what's up next? What el What else we got? I was singing that for like an entire week, on and off, creepy anime bullshit with Liam. Yeah, like you seem like you have something to say, do you? No, I. Okay. That's your baby, man. Yeah, that's that's all you. <laughs> you. 
<laughs> That's my baby. That that intro is brought to you brought to you by the very talented Star Exorcist, um, and her her uh, her mandate for this was like, I want you to make an intro that'll make our fans reach for a box of Kleenex, but then just like go no. No, I'm not going to do it. And then she was like, I'll do you one better. <laughs> I'm going to make it so that you reach for a box of Kleenex. <laughs> and I almost certainly kind of maybe did. So <laughs> that being said, DOA Extreme 3 is terrible. The creepy anime gods have blessed you and Liam this year. Yeah, no, no, there's there's some stuff to play, but like we were playing that and it was like fun for a little while, but then we realized like man, we can't do anything else with this. We can't do an LP of it. It's just there's so there's some random people over the other day. I think it was like uh, Rocky, the real Rocky, and and no, it was um. It was uh, your sister. It was David, and he came pizza, over. Pizza past the forest. Pizza past the forest came over, yeah. and then I was like, "Hey, look at this crazy game I got!" And I load up Dead or Alive, and, he, and he's just like, "What <laughs> is this? Is this a game?" And I'm like, "Sorta," you know. <laughs> Uh, and there's there's going to be lots of uh, uh, creepy anime bullshit uh, coming in the future. Uh, so, so a little birdie tells me that maybe one zone will be providing <gasps> an intro for creepy anime bullshit down the line. Wow. <gasps> yeah, exactly. Now the pressure's on, zone. Yeah, pressure's on. <laughs> Get to working. What else we got? Polite applause. <laughs> well, do you have anything to say about Final Fantasy X? Thinking. And learning. And pushing. And panels. And puzzles. <laughs> and sadness. And hatred. And a little sadness and, and, anger. and a little hatred and anger, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, Mostly sadness and anger and hatred from the fans. It's, dude, I am <laughs> so, so happy you sat me down and said, let's go through this game. Like, I, at the end of the day, it was such a, a fun ride through like awkward you'll, adolescent. You'll tell your kids about this LP. Yes. You know, like awkward adolescent Final Fantasy game yeah, that could, yeah. you know? That's great. Like, how old were you when you played it first, the first time? Uh, 2005. I, was <laughs> really the I think it was like 17. That's about right. Yeah. yeah. Like, I was awkward from when I played it, and like, I was really excited. I didn't actually tell you this. I was really excited when we got to Unaleska. I'm like, I haven't seen past this part. part. Yeah. Which is great. So. Oh man, no, dude. Like the the entire ride, like from the the aeons with uh, our naming convention. Yeah. 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 Right, Diva Aeons. Also, and Willie should get a lot of credit for a lot of the little edits inside the video. I was only responsible for one, but you did most of them. Uh, I did, the, although, like, like... The Dark Souls, the Thunder Planes. <laughs> the Thunder Planes, boy. Next level on other yeah, LPs. Yeah, of course, of but, course. Um, dude, Blitzball. 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 <laughs> I'm racist. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Uh, we, what we kind of measure LPs or videos uh, in general, like, yeah, was it a success or was it not? It doesn't even have to do a lot of views. And Final Fantasy, considering how long it was, did really, really well. So we're glad on it. But what what, what's came, the metric? What's the metric? What we came use? out of it? Yeah. Can you say stuff about that LP that could be inserted elsewhere? Like, can you say racist waka? Or can, <laughs> you, can you say blitzball? Can I make or, a little blitzball icon for the Twitch, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or the group of three different types of monsters that are trying to get in there, yeah, trying the to make it work. The yeah. machina, the lizards, and the insects, I Absolutely. think. Absolutely. Dude, so like, you know, and when we can look at it now and go, 410 billion dead out beds. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think that means it was a success. It was. I think it was a it success. Was, it was too. so much fun. What do you guys think? Yeah. Cheap pop. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I also think that like it kind of served as a bit of um. Uh, it convinced me, at least, that like RPGs totally can be done if it's the right kind of RPG. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, because of course there's Chrono Trigger before that, and every a nice wacky. 
a, like awkward RPG. That, that has some type of linearity to it, especially like you're just not wandering around. Too Lots much. of weird cutscenes and lots and of weird cutscenes because you have to play the game. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have to make decisions that everyone hates. And, and I don't know how to play RPGs. Awkward, I'm sorry, everybody. Awkward mo mouth flaps and voice acting. Awkward mouth flaps. Thank the you. Yes. Type of flaps. Yes. Thank you. Titus. <laughs> <laughs> what is next? I don't know. What is next? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this was a fun little experiment um, that I tried out. No, that's fine. You don't have to, really. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you know, it, it, I, I, you know, it's something that I, Plague and I wanted to do for a long time. So for those of you, who I didn't, saw this sitting on your hard drive yeah. for like a year. Yeah. <laughs> so, so um, most of you haven't watched it, and that's fine. But what it is is this is uh, Plague of Gripes, right? Uh, Superstar Creep Dad himself. <laughs> and and myself like playing through the beginning of uh uh, Black, Black Desert, Desert yeah. which is uh, a game that's pushed as like the biggest and craziest cr character creator ever. So we're like, okay, let's put it to the test and let's do the thing that Pat and Matt made fun of me for, which is the coloring Spending the house way too long on in, stuff in, like uh, this. in Silent, Silent Hill, Hill Shattered Memories. Shattered Memories yeah. Exactly, it's like the kind of shit that I live for. I need a character creator that can go that far. But you didn't play the game. I did. You did I at the end completely. I love it. Yeah. You beat it. Shattered Memories. No, Black Desert. Oh fuck no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> Absolutely not. I was like, I thought that was the whole point. No, 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 no. The it, like okay, at the end of that okay. video, it went straight into the trash. We okay. don't do that here. No, no, no. But uh, we got to experiment with it, and like, yeah, two hours later, two hours, literally two hours later, okay. uh, you know, and we named her, and like, we were smelling our own farts with mm -hmm. our, our degrees mm -hmm. of uselessness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was it was fun. It was fun to to kind of go down that path, and then um, it is something that I think yeah Plague had fun doing too and I, I like I like like Plague and I and um, a lot of the times most with most of us we talk and have conversations like just on Skype about these kinds of things anyway so we're like why not just record it you know and maybe in the future there's other games with really awkward terrible character creators that we could take a look at maybe there is you know there's lots of um, what I call not black people friendly character <laughs> creators out there you mean every game from Japan every single one okay that's great you could make a purple dude in Soul yeah, Calibur. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I appreciate that, Japan. Thank you. <laughs> Did you know that Liam and I love Metal Slug? Like, a lot. How many have you done so far? Three. Three? Okay. And We've got way more to go yeah, because in the planning phase for this, Liam's like, "Let's do Metal Slug," and I was like, "Yes," and he's like, "All of them," and I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> and and then like as we're going through it, we're trying to pick the ca the, the canonical order to go through and whatnot. But then we're, we're like, "No," when we say all, it's got to be all. Yeah, Metal Slug 3D. Yeah, you got to get it in there. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah. you know, there's mobile games out there. There's, oh wait, there's, no there's, Right? There's defense out there. There's um, the, the Neo Geo Pocket Color games out there. I didn't know this. So, like, they're short and sweet, and we just love to kind of go through and appreciate the sprite art and stuff. But, yeah, it'll be back soon. And, like I said, we're doing all of them. So, uh, yeah, not much to say, but stay tuned. Yeah. Exciting delays. Yes. Well, this is actually related to the last thing. Uh. All right. <laughs> Completely coincidentally. Yeah. Hello, Israel. Let us wax poetic about bad bugs with me. I sound like Total Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> And then um, we, need, we need Star Exorcist to like ruin the bit somewhere around here. Oh, she, she did a good ruin though. That was a it quality was ruin. Uh, box art reviews are interesting. You, want, you said my video was sitting on my hard drive for a year. How long the fuck was box art sitting there, dude? Yeah, it was pretty long. That was yeah. like two years, was, man. Like, seven years. Um, 
I can't believe it was 12 years. Boxer reviews, though, was a thing that was like, we th I, I thought of like a while ago, and I was like, hey, Willie, you want to do this? And he's like, yes. And I'm like, okay. So, but then we, we, we didn't do it for a while, because it started really with uh, Strider Week. It did, it did. Where we said that was really fun. Yeah, the first episode of Strider Week, I believe, is where we took a look at all the Strider box art before yeah. playing through the full game. And it was really fun to, to go through them. I was like, we should do more of this. And we're like, yeah. And then we just sat there and we watched <laughs> as Yahtzee, AVGN, all these people started doing it. We're like, no, nah, we'll do it someday though. The, the time isn't right. So that funny thing about that is that I literally had no idea yeah, that anyone yeah. else touched this thing. And then I saw someone in the comments going like, oh, so would you say that you guys judged it by the cover? And I was like, that's a really good name. I wish we had used that. And then well, I, I messaged Matt and I said, Matt, look at this, Judge by the cover, isn't that a really good name? And I was like, yeah, because that's what Yahtzee used when he did the same light off. Yeah, oh, shit. Damn but it. at the end of the day, it's kind of a different look. We, we look at like, you know, an entire franchise's worth of, of box art and kind of compare and laugh about the differences between America, the wacky UK, yeah. and, and Japan and stuff. And no one else is drawing like Madden style, like uh, review uh, uh, pen art over their things. Big ups to Slow Beef for telling us about that program. Yeah. It's super, super useful. Getting, um, getting the uh, the Arnold, uh, uh, Dylan, you son, son of a bitch, bitch right like, there. Like, that was great. No one else is on that tech, yeah. so <laughs> I'm pretty happy with uh, And you can look forward to maybe Castlevania in the future. Oh, sure. uh, maybe, maybe Streets of Rage and Final Fights, I, like that. Uh, Street Fighter 2's got oh. some good boxes. Oh, yeah, all the Super Nintendo ones. Dude, oh, we, we can, there's so many, good. man. We should do Street Fighter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is that noise? It's <laughs> like low but mild confirmation. Low but mild. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, you, the way you described it a bit earlier, I think, sums it up in a real nice way. Mm -hmm. Where you're saying, as I lost my humanity, <laughs> you regained yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I was still hollowed out from the last time we had played it. Dude. I had never, I because ne I know, you know it's David Cage, you know it's there, and like for a while I was like, maybe I should just watch their LP of it, and I was like, nah, fuck it, we don't watch each other's LPs, get <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why would I waste you my know? time? And then when I started talking to Matt about like, we gotta get the stream, I was like, or I said like, hey, streaming, we should do that more often, and the first thing he suggested for it was, oh my god, oh my god, Wonderful 101 just walked in the room, you are oh, super cool. Yeah. Right on, what a Yeah. Let's send that game to Wonderful 101. To App Wonder Red? Hell yeah! Oh no, yeah, totally. Okay, okay, fine. Well, look, anyway, the first thing you wanted to do was have us stream it because you knew I didn't play it and I'd know nothing about it. And the yeah, fact that, like, I managed to avoid spoilers and stay cold on it, and then I it's also amazing, had, really. Yeah, but and then I also had Liam, who was there on the side, going, "No, it's actually a, a pretty good game, and it's, <laughs> it's 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 his best game. It's, it's his best game." And like, oh, it's not it's not his best. So it so, uh, yeah, so it left me neutral, you know, going okay. like, hey, let's go in with an open mind. God, fuck oh, you yeah. should have gone in with a closed mind. Oh, it should have been closed shut. Wow. Oh, it was great though. And like every single, like the whole thing where we predicted stuff in Beyond Two Souls, like you going backwards and predicting like what the female character is going to do when she's going to be an awkward sex object and at what point this this terrible moment where you like, I should have emotions for this character, but I don't. 
is gonna happen. Yeah. Child death, of course. One, two, three. How many of them are you gonna throw in there? Yeah. You know, and like, and on the way out, like as I'm dying and my corpse is like rotting away, Pat comes in and goes, "Psychic link," and just that's, and then I turn to dust, and that's the end of it. So I, I love that I was just as angry as ever when Madison just comes out of a fiery inferno, like, oh, okay. oh, I did it. Super easy. Yeah. When you have a bad writer, you can get out of anything. So, yeah. um, I'm so glad as well that I handed the controls off to Pat at that one point so that he could try to unlock that door and see and how terrible these, these tilt controls are. They're super bad, man. Yeah. Everything was really terrible the second time around. Should have spilled more beer on my balls. You should have spilled more beer. So would have helped. Would have helped. Would have helped. Uh, please get excited for Detroit. What's the, what's the subtitle? Detroit? Be human? Become human? Detroit, don't play it. <laughs> so it's, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. On to, on to bigger and better things, Willie. Um, we, gotta, we gotta talk about games that are really good yeah. that you love to play. I was making some predictions about Detroit like the other day, and I'm like, they're gonna do like Robot Malcolm X or some creepy shit. Like, I know they're gonna That sounds talk. awesome. <laughs> on to games that Willie really loves. No rest for the wicked, I see. I didn't pick this. Oh, You God. picked this. Uh, this, is you, this is your design. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy the podcast? Yeah! Um, so, I, I, I was talking about, I guess it was Bunny Hop this weekend that was telling us that... Uh, that he loves Minecraft and plays it every day. Every day, non-stop. Yeah. It's the best thing ever, I yeah, believe he said. The um, apex of video gaming. Now, but if I'm not mistaken, like... We suffered through this and like only got through by not acknowledging anything happening in, in the game at all. And I, I had a bit of a breakdown where like around, I think it was the third or, or, or second episode, I got really nervous about like, we can't put this out. This is not acceptable content. <laughs> and Pat reassured me that there is no level too low for the best friends. That's and true. then we could absolutely deliver nothing as long as people expect nothing. Like. Like, you say this in an age where I'm always teasing a Bible black, let's watch, dude. <laughs> so, you know, we, yeah, we got through it. And, and so Buddy Hop uh, told us that apparently this was the best episode, the first one. Yeah, like it goes. And it all gets it worse. It goes from downhill. And, and then I'm it like, goes downhill. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mystery. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you, but like, I think Pat and I could sit on a couch and fill another two hours every now and then, so... That's rough. Who knows? Who knows? Episode two, maybe sometime, when we got spl slots to fill. Slots to fill. All the calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dramatic pause. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a big one. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> Pre press, press space again? It might skip the... Well, we can skip that one anyway. Is it, is it going? What? 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 I expected nothing and you delivered. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go for it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can fix it, I can fix it. Ah, oh, this is great. Talk about Minecraft again! <laughs> oh man, this was so much fun. I don't have any experience with XCOM whatsoever. Someone just correctly pointed out what's with that typo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. On XCOM. Yeah, that was fixed after the first or second episode. Oh, okay. Should have grabbed that one. Because I, no. Okay. <laughs> I grabbed the one I saw. Why would we want the right one up there? Uh, anyway, XCOM, um, man, like, I wish, 
Like, no, I don't. I don't really wish there was a camera, but if you could just see Pat sweating. Sweating every time, like, he had a gun right against the alien's head. Literal and fires sweat. And misses, and it's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yes! <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Like, I, and I proudly, proudly accept the title I, I gave with this LP of Literal Race Trader Only. <laughs> like, of the human race. Yeah. Dude. That's the biggest traitor of all. Absolutely, man. That's 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 strong. Will our alien overlords give me a jetpack and sick wall running powers? Yeah. Count me the fuck in. I'm 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 there with you. Right? And and like you watch this train wreck happen and it unfolds slowly. Like anyone who knows XCOM could tell probably by like the third episode or second, it was going bad. It wasn't gonna last. You know, and like we clutch it out a little bit and barely survive, but we try to attach ourselves to the characters and they die two seconds later. And it is so much fun mm. watching it get wrecked. And in those last like couple of minutes, like, um, like all the dark events start happening, is what they're called. And you go to the map and it's like, you just have to let go of the mouse as it goes dark event, the world is over. Dark <laughs> event, humanity's done, give it up. Your base has nothing, no resources, dark event. You know, and it lets you watch this slow progression to the to the, the like the cliffside, you yeah, know, yeah, of yeah, your yeah. game over. And it, it when it finally happened, it was just it was oh. <laughs> uh, nipple rubbing, yeah. Love it, love it. <laughs> Proudly. Pay me. <laughs> Pay me. Pay me. Uh, this this is kind of almost like it's 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 half an LP and kind of half of a podcast now. A little bit. A little bit. I don't bit. mind that. No. Um, it's fun having the Hyrule Historia and all that other stuff to just like lax poetic about the goods of the old days. Yeah, and, while we play Twilight Princess. And, uh, you know, <laughs> what is there to say? Like, it's it's just fun going through a Zelda game on the channel. We've never done that. I'm not sure if we'll do it again. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just because there's this weird sort of progression, especially in Twilight Princess, where you're kind of, all right, I'm going to go here, but I can't really progress because i got to do these things. Right, what, who was I supposed to, t- I was supposed to talk to the cat. No, not the cat. I was supposed yeah. to talk to the, the one. No, yeah, not the yeah. one. No. And it's kind of like more classic ease, all this. Like, you can just kind of go. And like Twilight Princess, like I was saying to uh, someone the other day that like uh, I had played Wind Waker HD and we're playing this. And I'm like, ah, Wind Waker HD is a little more L- kind of LP friendly, kind of, in a way. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Like, go to the next island. Go to the next island. Check out what's there. And, and mm-hmm. you can kind of just do your own thing. Whereas Twilight Princess seems to lock you down in certain places. And it's yeah. kind of, and, and Liam, like, God bless him. Like, we don't, we can't help. <laughs> we don't know what's, what you're supposed to do. We only get the game like once. can reach for the book if he wants, but yeah. that's the best you're going to get. Uh, but, but, you know, so, some fun stuff coming out of uh, Zelda. Yeah, and, and then, like, like, round of applause for Liam's editing. Yeah. On yeah. Like, taking it to the next level. Um... Cause, Cause, Snow Peak was not that great. It wasn't when we recorded it, but he made it super great. Actually, yeah, no, so. and and like good stuff. And not like we don't and didn't tell us about any of this stuff in advance, yeah, or like really. the Colin editing of his descriptions and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like so much gold going on there that like we, we only catch in post when people go like, oh my god, this is amazing. And I was like, wait, wait, what, what, what did I miss? <laughs> and Liam like juiced the episodes out. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, it's it's been it's been done a lot already, but uh, at the time I really, really flipped out when he showed me his, uh, the to-be-continued JoJo meme. Yeah. Yeah. At, at the end. That, at, was... At, that was super awesome. So awesome that I stole it and put it in the Punisher LP right. when Matt Murdock shows up and Liam was like, oh, that's cool. A little bit secretly, he was like, mm, "It was my joke." Oh. <laughs> uh, either way, I mean, I know, I know what you mean about like being a bit more careful with Zelda uh, games in the future. But I'm pretty sure Link's cross pretty- pearl training is gonna happen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Zelda CDI is in the works. That's not no, never, no. Can, never not no. That's not gonna happen. Actually, my boy, not. my boy, I'll get my stuff. <laughs> Uh, uh. 
It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good pop. I told you. There you go, skeleton ball. <sighs> Dude. It, like, so, like, it's been so tough struggling through all these tough enemies and not killing them in one hit, right? All those deaths. <laughs> all those deaths by enemies and not just balls and pits. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. Uh, but no, this, since, this, since I, I have now attached myself to the caboose of the Dark Souls LPs, and I'm just like, oh, this is kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. These idiots sure are nerdy about Dark Souls. I don't, I, 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 but I'm catching up. I'm, I'm, I'm there too, I guess. Yeah. I'm having fun watching watching you guys struggle trying to read item descriptions. <laughs> well, well, he's like, can, can I can I read can I read one? No, no. Okay, okay sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. And like and like eventually like Pat's just like like taking the whole thing over and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine. But he loves the game. I, so. Yeah, I think I got the last one in. Yeah, you so, got that. That was so. a good one though. I got a good one in. That was a good that one. That was though. fine. Uh, uh, I was telling a fan today, like he's like, hey, how, how is it struggling with Dark Souls? I'm like, we're we're not struggling. We're, we beasted it super. Well, Pat beasted it super hard, and it's done. It's been recorded and done and finished for like two weeks now. Yeah, actually, it's yeah. like thirty-two parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each, I mean, so, each part was like a solid hour. We played pretty regularly, but um, he got huge. He as, got very as huge. Says, and that was well, that. he can't in real life, so he might as well get in the game. Can't hold it against him. Uh, the Adventures of Lucky Ted. Oh, like that, that's oh boy. Oh, boy. That, that, that's I, it. Like what we talked about before, where like you get different stuff out of an LP that you can kind of reference. Like yeah, there's Lucky Ted, there's skeleton balls, there's tons of stuff. The things that the thing though that is like oftentimes uh, we're able to like catch it early on, where it's like when we started the um, uh, Indigo Prophecy LP, it was called Sadness yeah. right, right away, right? Yeah. But like in this case, it's like we didn't know in advance to name him Lucky Ted. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we would have if we could have, but we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and also Scream Lords Scream just Lords. came out. So Totino really Scream Lords. Scream Lords. Totino Scream Lords. We're going to have that panel someday. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we just the yeah. Scream Lords? It's our other personas. Um, that being said, uh, I mean, this is your first time sitting through an entire Dark Souls game beginning to end. Um, like, j uh, from what I've played of, of the other ones, I'm like, just graphic, like, graphically really helps when it's a lot nicer looking and things don't look as kind of janky as they used to in some of the older games, especially when we stream uh, uh, Demon Souls. Yeah. And just, yeah. like, the bosses, from what I know of, like, Dark Souls 2, like, a lot of the bosses are kind of forgettable. And, like, m like almost all the bosses in Dark Souls 3 are incredible, so. There's some good stuff in the DLC, but uh, you know yeah. that your, your game is solid when, like, uh, my mom came over, and my desktop was yeah. Irithyll. Okay. Just that shot, and she's like, what is that? That's pretty. And I'm like, yeah, that's a video game. And then, like, and then tomorrow your mom is streaming Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. And she kills a guy, and she's like, you don't know what you're, you're messing with. <laughs> Take that in the name of Jesus. <laughs> she's performing miracles all over. That's good. We should get your mom on the stream. <laughs> oh, man. I'll see what I can do. So we're going to transition into another little section here. Sneak peeks of some future stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, so coming up at, uh, right after that, we have a quick look coming up next week, and you guys are going to get a tiny little preview. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Stalling for time. <laughs> uh, that great intro brought to you by Mothman and Little V. Uh, did, yeah. I haven't seen it. Well, we, I'll, 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 I'll show it to you later. later. Uh, so that's just the intro. We have a little minute clip coming oh. up. So you gotta be quiet, you're gonna miss the jokes. Don't laugh so much. <laughs> You'll miss the jokes. <laughs> Hell would be like, yo, we're the toughest ever. No one's tougher than us. And then um, 
if you're properly armed, Hell's like, oh, did, did, did. I can't believe. Why did we let the humans get guns? Can we stop that? This is the strongest equalizer hell has ever seen. <laughs> I can't believe. Like they're all surrounding the like, you know, the, the hell conference table, going, alright guys, so who fucked up on this? Why did you know Check this out. I will. Oh god! <laughs> Take that skeleton warrior. <laughs> I love in the description of the revenant, it's like, he's a fucking skeleton. <laughs> I haven't even been using this rocket launcher. And the rocket launch is pretty good. Like all the weapons. Fuck me. Oh, <laughs> That's what I deserve. Alright guys, we want more platforms. He seems to be struggling a little bit with the platform. Get more platforms going. Just like, okay, and then put all the spikes in that Mega Man stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. No! That's the free play in the Crucible! I will! Of course you can say D. James is asshole! That's good shit. That's good shit. Uh, so that's just a quick look because we already beat Doom like a long time ago. So we kind of found that when we played it again, it was like we already knew everything. So we're like, ah, we can't, we can't do it now. But if they make a sequel to Doom, we'll just go in blind and just record it. You know, uh, I guess it would be called Doom Two. I guess it would. So dumb. <laughs> oh well. Uh, so we just have a little intro for our next LP. We don't we don't have a clip quite prepared, but Willie well, might want to get up and and look at it. It's so good. So. You'll notice that you're slippy. Yeah. But there's three variants where we all switch guys. Okay. Did you, okay. <laughs> I want to see it. Okay. So we were having breakfast at a coffee shop. Yeah. And Max, this is a star, right? The star yeah. exorcist. And Matt pulls out his phone and he's like, "Yo, check out some of this art." And it's like all this really cool like stuff where uh, the four of us are all like the Star Fox team. And it's like, that's cool, that's really, really high part. Fuck you, I'm not slippy. And I was like, no, well, well, like, well, whatever, like, you can't be Falco. And then it's, well, I'm like, fine, that's fine. And it's like, you can't be Falco either. And I was like, no, no. I'm not cool enough to be Falco. None of us are cool enough to be Falco. And then, but, but I'm not slippy. And I was like, well, you should be slippy. You like green. I mean, come on. And I'm like, I will take anything over slippy. I will take Pigma over slippy. So, over slippy. so you don't know that. Boy over slippy. <laughs> You don't know this, but during this conversation, when it was happening, I got a text from Liam saying, make him slippy. And I and I said, and Liam was there with us. And I said at the end of the conversation, don't do that thing where you just go, yeah, okay, fine, but then you make me slippy anyway, because it's gonna be funny. I was super not okay with it. You came up with a good compromise. Yes, I think I did. Thank you. Um, so so uh, we're gonna transition into another little section of our feature presentation. What, what are we looking at? Is it the right thing? What does it say? Yes, things that shall not be. Oh. Uh, this is a section of, you know, when you record LPs, you have, a, you have a YouTube channel, you do lots of stuff. Sometimes things don't work out. Yeah. And they're lost to the ether. So uh, we'll regale you with a little story or two of projects we tried, didn't quite work out. Uh, 
Uh, so I think for Shitstorm 1 or Shitstorm 2, sat down, recorded about an hour of Alan Wake, and uh, Pat goes, I didn't record it. <laughs> and then I, I, in my best tones, I went, And we probably could have recorded it, but screw it. We, could. we didn't want to do it again. Mm. So unfortunately, we just kind of didn't said, oh, let's just do something else. I don't have the energy. And we'd already be in Alan Wake, like each of us would be in Alan Wake. So we're like, uh, but that was Shitstorm 1 or 2. And it's been a while since that, right? So maybe Mr. Wake will show up this year. I don't know. Yeah. The Togi. Yeah, this was a huge bummer, man. Because yeah. I, this was like we just sat down and we mystery in. box. We, it was a mystery box. We sat down, we popped it in a Toki Two, and I had no one like I'd heard it was a good game, but no one told me about From software. No one told me about From Software's badass Wolfman double blade super kill amazing crazy samurai guy yeah. action, and it was basically FromSoft's like attempt at. Uh, not character action. Well, well, the first one was kind of character action. When we played the second one, it had all these crazy characters, it was like the amazing. wolf guy. It was so good. He and played like, us for like almost two hours. We played it for almost two hours straight, and like I like almost lost my voice screaming at how high things were getting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When like walls were getting blown up, and then like more characters that would show up that were like, "That's a Dark Souls boss, but he's playable." Yeah. Uh, does anyone want to like shout out guesses as to why we like well, what happened? What do you think happened? Why didn't we not put this? That's all. Skeleton ball? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it was, it was, all right, shut up. All right. <laughs> it was on a hard drive, and the hard drive just kaput. Just, yeah, so. Yeah. So, so pour one out for a togi. Exactly, too. man. God, yeah. I'm so hyped for that. Yeah, there was this. Although technically it does exist in the state that you can watch it on the website. You can watch it on the website, it's certainly true, but we had big, big plans. This was gonna be our big favorite uh, like sort of project coming up and it just didn't quite pan out. Uh, yeah, it was mainly, I mean, I don't know how much we can get into, but we can definitely say- It's politics, it's all politics. Yeah, well basically like we, thought it was great and um, we were gonna work with like Machinima on like putting it out there as its own sort of series. And, and, they, and they were super they, down, they were for, super it. down yeah, for it. Really the only thing is we had to get past the Capcoms. Yeah, the, Cap the Capcoms, the difficulty of them is very high. <laughs> Couldn't quite beat them. Everyone so. was calling to complain. Uh, and <laughs> so when we ran it by the Capcoms, they didn't think it was very funny. And they were in the process of making the image of uh, Street Fighter squeaky clean. So uh, talking about uh, asp baby aspirin and lube was not <laughs> a good idea at the time. Because it seemed in hindsight that it was. But then it turned out it wasn't. It so wasn't. Then it just didn't and razor blades too. Yeah. Um, I'm starting to see why this <laughs> failed. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, other ideas as well for yeah. like the possibility of maybe working this with the Mortal Kombat cartoon. Yeah. Because so this is called Fight for Nothing. What was the Mortal Kombat one called? Defenders of Nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, and I was really excited for that, and that never really, we never really got into the real planning stages. We, we kind of asked around, and there was a little See interest. See if we get the okay from WB, but... but and, and now they kind of, like, they have some weird Mortal Kombat chibi animated little YouTube thing, and I guess they kind of went with that. Now, we still might do something, because I really, like, me and Willie worked on this super hard, like, you especially. Uh, mouth flaps, man. Yeah, mouth flaps. Mouth flaps. Team Four uh, Star shit. Yeah, like, just ripping them off, you know? It's great. Um, <laughs> And like, you know, maybe someday down the line, if there's a good venue to have this, uh, at least the Mortal Kombat one would be really It'd cool because it, 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 was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, other things that were lost in the fire. No, 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 no. Like you, you have to really save up that awe because this was also going to be a super best friends brawl. <laughs> the first one featuring Liam. Yeah. And spoilers, he destroyed us. 
that that intro is not around, is it? Um, not on this, not on this computer. Oh, Cranky okay. also made a brand new intro. Oh my God, Cranky! For it. That's quite. Such but he intro. hates it now. Yeah, yeah. He He's like, like that it. intro is garbage. It I'm gonna redo it. It was anime, and it was amazing. Uh, and yeah. we gotta show it off next time we can. Yeah, yeah. Just like, just it's not gonna get used. He's gonna right? hate us though. But yeah, we show I don't it. care. Fuck you, Cranky. Yeah, it was good. yeah. <laughs> Hey, that guy. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, and uh, the you know, so remember what happened to Atogi? Yeah, that was so. on a hard drive, yeah. and so was this. It was on that exact same hard drive. That hard drive like just it gave up on us. It realized, Damn you, hard drive. It, it realized its purpose. It realized its purpose. So the next thing we have is quite, I would say, raw. Ooh. Okay, I don't even know what this video for. <laughs> I remember it, but I don't know what's gonna happen. This was a video, like a PSA, kind of in the style of, uh, of arts and crafts, uh, called Hiding Under Coats. <sighs> Press the button. never actually got done was due to time so it, it wasn't very good it, th th those are the those are the best parts but it was gonna require a lot of like editing we're gonna have graphs like it was gonna have a pie oh chart oh my god okay, yeah, yeah. No, wait, I you forgot now. that oh, okay. no, 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 it yeah, had a yeah, pie yeah. chart and it says most deaths are from staying under coats too long and it says like 97% staying under the coats and like like 3% heart attacks. And, and like, and we're gonna we, have. And we had code frame data. Yeah. That we were gonna use at a point, I remember now. So I was struggling whether or not to put a clip in this. It was a Wooly struggling to get through a certain bit where he was supposed to be reacting to different situations where you might need to hide under coats. Like, like a girl telling her, telling you she's pregnant. <laughs> and Wooly's on the phone and he's just going, like, okay, okay, hold on. All right. <laughs> and then he just starts laughing like super hard like he couldn't keep it in and it goes on for like five minutes of him just oh, laughing his ass because you go okay I can't stop thinking about how funny it is in my head <laughs> it's, it's all these great facial it's expressions one, it's the DVD extras one day it's the DVD it's extras, the DVD extras. Uh, so yeah, you yeah, maybe I don't know. I don't I don't think I, so. Um, we got the, the, the we got the gag out. It's out. We there, got the man. gag out. It's good enough. It's just explain Come it to on. people over drinks. It'll be funny yeah, enough. Yeah, it's a way. good explaining story. All right, um, we're gonna take a Q and A in a bit, but, but, but right before that, one final clip of uh, some stuff you can expect this weekend, maybe. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> so, oh, for those man. that know, tomorrow at 4 p.m. will be crime timing it up here downstairs. Actually, downstairs at and the uh, well, go ahead. And we'll be playing Sleeping Dog. Yeah. It's going to be happening uh, on the main stage. So that's yeah, that's now that's next to the dealers' room. Next to the dealers' room. The huge projector screen yeah, downstairs yeah, yeah. there. Uh, that uh, it's going to be a little time. blue. It's going to get a little blue, yes. Yeah. Uh, so we have about 10 minutes for questions. We do, so, so if you can line up right in the middle there. Real, real quick. And uh, there's a microphone, and uh, we'll Is make that? it through whatever we can. Is there a microphone? There's a microphone right there. Okay, cool. Um, if you can give me a nice little, my mic sounds nice, check one. There you go. Right, awesome. Sounds good. Um, also, we should let people know that there is going to be uh, and uh, we're going to have an autograph signing uh, about at I believe uh, seven o'clock in the autograph section. Area. Yeah. So that's happening as well. All, All right. right. Go ahead. What's your question, sir? Well, first off, it's great to have you guys here this year. Thank you. Have a question. I'm pretty sure both of you have already heard, but it's recently been revealed that not only is Captain America now a Nazi. <laughs> He has always been a Nazi, even when his actions and innermost thoughts over seven years contradicted. That's a great question, sir. <laughs> First, your thoughts, and two, were either of you reminded of Scott Shelby with the great <laughs> Scott the Shelby. Uh, so here's my thoughts, because I have gotten a lot of Twitter questions about this. What yeah. do you think about Captain America? Yeah. It's the first issue. Maybe we should wait until there's some more before we, it's, it's actually pretty bad, right? Like, it's gonna take a lot to explain it away, but like, that's all I can say. It's the first um, issue, give it some time. So for me, the moment I saw that, I was like, okay, first of all, what I'm seeing in Imgur album, it's three pages in an Imgur album. It's not the full book. I know I'm getting trolled. I know that this is just meant to make me overreact and go, what the fuck, Marvel, blah. But it's like, uh, like reading through the Reddit thread, like apparently, with some context, it sounds like that's not actually Cap. It's like an alt dimension version of him or something along those lines, possibly. So, I, whenever I see something like that happen, I, I, my brain automatically goes, nah, Marvel's just fucking with us. It's yeah. gonna be fine. So, also, my favorite edit of this is instead of saying Hail Hydra, Cap says, I pre-ordered Mighty Number no. 9. Yeah. <laughs> and then last night, like, Plague sent me a bunch more. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah, Batman was like, I shot my own parents. Whoa! And, like, and it goes through every hero doing the antithesis of okay, their own thing. Okay. Spider-Man's like, fuck responsibility. And then, I shot Uncle Ben! And then the, the best one is they got Black Bolt from the Inhumans, and he yeah, just goes, hey guys, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. So does that answer your question, sir? Uh, I think so. Thank All, right. All right. Thank you very much. Next, please. Hey. Hello. Hello. First off, congrats for surviving heavy rain. <laughs> Did oh. I? You're here. Did I? You're here. Oh, don't. That wasn't. We didn't talk about reboot. Let's not. <laughs> My question is what is the worst game you played Blue Channel this past year? There's been some garbage. Yeah. Um, but the, the worst game played on the channel. This year. Yeah, no, unfortunately I was gonna I was gonna mention we, we, we pressed you know space and we skipped over the, the chasing dead uh, uh, oh. video there. Uh, it was it was, uh, it was uh, that, that's fine, but like that's not even close to the like because no. that's entertaining at least you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, but yeah. in terms of worse, I like, don't know if it was this year, but I feel like it was because it feels like I'm still playing. And Dang and Rumpel was awful. Uh. Ultra Despair Girls. I'm sorry. I think Ultra Despair Girls was probably the worst for me. Because yeah, like like I, we said it during Heavy Rain, and, and it's the philosophy you live by, where it's like wasted potential is worse than no potential. Yeah. And I'd, Dangan is coming off a pedigree of excellent games with Part One and Part Two. So, yeah. I, I think when I answer this question, it's not this year, but like there's nothing that off the top of my head strikes me as really really bad this year. But like Murdered Soul Suspect is like a five, and five is where you don't want to be. You want to be a zero. Or you want to be like a seven, eight, nine, ten, you know? Uh, so like, and and there's there. What lore came out of uh, Murdered Soul Suspect? That Liam and I made it. Yeah. 
And that's not even true. <laughs> so, like, yeah. to me, that always sticks out in my head. It's like, I just had no fun playing okay. that. So. Uh, we've got five minutes, so let's try to... we got a rapid fire, rapid guys. fire. Rapid fire. Bow, bow, bow. So Matt Lilly and Joseph Lima Penguin are here. Nah. Uh, I hate to be the damn question, but uh, there was a Let's Play that I saw a while ago, and their the features, James Bugs, I know. They were together for seven years, but they broke up recently, and my question is, what would it cause the end of the best friends, besides the favorite new gym? That question I feel. What would cause the end of the best friends? Uh, one of us wins the lottery? <laughs> Uh, we finally murder Pat's mom for the souls. Okay. There's a lot of souls to gain there. There's a lot of she's, she's here. She's Some good boss weapons to get out of that shit. <laughs> um, you know, it's you can't really answer a question like that. You know, any any anything can you know like happen like a death. betrayal ton. Betrayal tons, death. So you know that's not that's not something I have an answer yeah, for. Yeah, not really. No, I mean we're all pretty like. Happy. But but the lottery actually. Yeah. That's the yeah, answer. yeah. There you go. Uh, John Tron answering my text. Yeah. <laughs> or Aaron answering mine. <laughs> and thank you for giving me JoJo. Yeah, man. Stamp right. Thank you. What's hey. up? Uh, my question is, is the reason Liam is here is because he wasn't in the movie Suplex of Air? Uh, no. Uh, kayfabe? <laughs> yes. Shoot, Shoot. Uh, he was at a, a wedding that's in his family this weekend, so he couldn't come. Yeah. But that's, that's good, though. I wish it was because he wanted to suplex that bear. I, 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 I tweeted out a warning. And, yeah. and, and to the bear, but then someone tweeted back. It tweeted it back to me with the menacing JoJo like. <laughs> so then I got really scared. That's good. That's good. Was he? Yeah. Motherfucker. What's up, sir? Sorry, can you say a little louder? Compared to the last season, what do we think about Game of Thrones so far? Game of Thrones. Uh, I was totally not on board until the last two episodes. The last two episodes that came out completely turned me around from being the most unhyped I've been for a season into like, oh my god, let's go, let's go, let's go, the plot's happening for real. Which is weird, because last season I was like, this is the most unhyped season ever, and I really, really disliked the last season, and this season, like, up until, like, yeah, the last couple episodes, I've been, this is fine, this is acceptable, like, it's not blowing me away. And yeah, like, the last couple episodes have been really, really good. So so far, it's, it's better than last season overall to me. As long as they continue to like shrink all the storylines together into one big one and make it fucking move and not just sit there and waste time, yeah, yeah. it's going to be great. There you go. Game's still terrible. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey. Hey. I, I was talking with Willie earlier about Lisa, and I was wondering if y'all would ever do a game series of games you can read or make candy of them. If, uh, if we would ever... Have like a series of games where you make cameos if you have play them on the camera. Oh, games that, that you have cameos in. I don't think there's that many besides like Lisa, Lisa and Skullgirls, really. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Baz doesn't count. He's an entity unto himself, so, you know. Uh, but yeah, certainly if we're in more things, that, that, that'd be cool to sort of talk about it. But yeah. yeah. And, and the thing with Lisa 2 in general is that like it's a, it's a super awesome game, and I think like the last one, Lisa the Joyful, would be amazing to do, but without context, it would be horrible to LP. Everyone would have to know exactly why we got to that point. Yeah. You know, so it'd be like another dang and rumpus situation, unfortunately. Everybody go play Lisa. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> All right, we're really rapid fire because we want to answer yeah, as many yeah, questions as possible. Guys question. Let's go. Uh, okay. If you can, thanks. Uh, you may recall an email from a guy named George who asked you in the uh, Superbet podcast, uh, what was your favorite first level uh, theme or BGM? That okay. would be me. Okay. And, uh, so, uh, a related really question to that is, what is a game that you really don't like with a really good soundtrack that you love? And don't you cheat by saying Blaze Blue. Well, that, that's not entirely accurate anyway, so. <laughs> soundtrack I hate. Like, because we no. still, we like Blaze Blue. Soundtrack that's okay. I love game I hate. Oh, that's really hard. I'm sure there's stuff out there, but. Well. Uh, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, someone say? Yes. That's a great answer. I'm a, gonna a, just lot take of, that. a lot of 3D Sonic games in general have good soundtracks. But Wait, that doesn't work. I love Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love how it crashes all the time. It's great. Greatest moments ever. Yeah. 
We'll take that. And five, three, two, one. Well, well, you know, on our well, eh, it's, yeah. it's, two more All questions, right. real quick. Two more questions, real quick. What's the next fighting game you'd like to see that's been long dormant, made a triumphant revival? Fighting game that needs to be revived. Uh, yeah. Weapon Lord. Weapon Lord. Weapon Lord. Play it immediately. Yeah, Weapon Lord. I'd, uh, that's my answer too. Yeah. Bio Freak, sure, why not? There you go. Sapo. <laughs> and last question, sir. Yeah. Make it good, no pressure. Well, it's gonna be terrible. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. First of all, Lily, I want to see more of those character creation of plays. I would love it. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I think, yeah, I think I, I'd like to see more too. I think they're kind of yeah. cricket. Segmento, I may have missed it in the videos of the Twilight Princess Let's Play, but it's kind of been killing me trying to figure out which was Matt's favorite character design. I said oh, it. I said, it. I said it in a, one of the parts. Anyway, it was uh, Queen Ruto. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. My glasses just exploded. Well, he just bought those glasses today. I did. Yeah, it was Queen Ruta. Uh, and perfect timing with my glasses exploding. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll be signing autographs at 7 o'clock in the autograph, so head on there if you want our terrible signatures. Thanks so much, everybody.